Hello everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and today I want to give you a personal first person experience and uh, some feedback on the Wrangler 2, which is by Pride Mobility. It's part of the Baja series. Uh, I am using this mobility scooter almost daily. It is a workhorse. It's great for moving things around that you otherwise would have to carry if you have a lot of land, a lot of acres, and you don't want to have to walk back and forth from one corner of your lot to the other. This thing is great. You can put a rear basket on it. You can attach a trailer to it. It has a little bit of a tow bar on the back. You will have to do some retrofitting. There's unfortunately at this time no uh, ball hitch adapter that you can put there, but you know, a lot of our customers are pretty handy and they can come up with some pretty creative things. So as soon as we get a customer that sends us their retrofitted ball hitch, um, we will post some videos and some pictures online. So before we get started, I do want to say, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are giving away a mobility scooter every six months. And if you want a free catalog to see our products, just go to our website and click on the green tab at the top of every page that says free catalog fill out the short form and you'll get one in about one to two weeks tops so we're going to go ahead and do a ride along show you how this thing rides i'm going to go over some really aggressive terrain and just go ahead and get started here so just before we get started i want to show you the suspension it's pretty impressive it looks like the suspension you would see on a modern f-150 or heavy duty truck it's got some really nice rims that are painted black with some silver outlining to it they are inflatable pneumatic tires with some really aggressive treading there it's got tow hooks on the front full light package adaptive suspension adaptive steering they have done some new things with the tie rods the turn rods on the front here and we're going to have all that information on our website so make sure you go to mobilitydirect.com I'll go ahead and show you the reverse rear backup sensor there. That's going to start beeping if you get too close to anything. It's got a sensor. You do have the universal one inch hitch adapter on the back. The armrests are height adjustable with adjustable as well. You can also um, raise and lower the lumbar support. You can slide the seat forward and backwards as well as rotating it. So there is a rotation lever there on the right side of the seat. I've just got on. Here's the handlebar, delta tiller, wrap around, very safe. I'm gonna ride this thing full speed with one hand. You can go forward and backward with the trigger. If you pull back, it goes forward. If you push forward, the machine goes backwards. It does have a handbrake and you could lock it in if you're on an incline, but it has automatic brakes, so it's really not necessary. You can also adjust the tilt by using this lever, bringing it closer to you or further away from you. The tiller assembly, that is. Here we have a really loud horn. Turn signals, high and low on the speed mode, so it limits your speed halfway. Mode is going to change it from uh, odometer to trip to temperature. It's pretty hot out, as you can see. Have the light switch, and then you can set the time with the set button. This is to increase speed and decrease speed. We're gonna go full send. So again, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. This is the Wrangler 2 by Pride Mobility. It is part of the Baja series. It's a new series that Pride Mobility is working on and this is the first product released as part of the series, the Baja series. We have a full page on our website for the Baja series where you can see all the products that Pride's coming out with. Now, I just want to show you the terrain in front of me. It is it is not by any means level, okay? We're just gonna start driving around this. This is probably the roughest part of the property. Huge bump here. Let me just show you how, how huge that is. Turn the camera around. I'm almost bottoming out. This has about five and a half inches, five inches of ground clearance. There's a huge ramp that we just went over. And mind you, I didn't have any torque or any momentum. I was at a dead standstill. So we're gonna go back up here. One-handed. <laughs> so, 
So it looked like my camera overheated, unfortunately, when recording in such high definition, that tends to happen. So we're back, and uh, I was just explaining how we can go over some of the most aggressive terrain without any momentum. I mean, right here in front of me, this is some pretty nasty terrain. I mean, it's, it's not the worst, but there's some six inch piles of mulch. We had a mulcher come out here on a skid steer and tear up the land that was overgrown like crazy. So I'm at a dead standstill. And I'm just gonna show you. I start going, it's still pushing through like it's nothing. This is some pretty rugged terrain here. As you can see, the tires handle very well. And I am using one hand, which is gonna make it a little harder to control, but that's what you have to do to do a ride along. Now I'm gonna go through a bunch of rough terrain here and I'm gonna throw on the screen some different perspectives of the same terrain. We did a video shoot the other day with Dustin and Andrew, and we went over this path here. It's a huge ramp. This is no joke. So I just went over it with one hand, no problem. I mean, it was a little hard, I'm not gonna lie, because I had to control it with one hand. But as you can see, some pretty big ramps right here, big tree that fell down, and with no momentum, I might add, it's just getting through it. So I can come to a full stop, and with no momentum, still go through this really rugged terrain and hit that ramp, which I'm gonna do one more time. So, but I put the uh, camera here, right on top of the dash and hold it here. So you can see how rough this terrain is. I am moving all over the place. Now I'm at a dead standstill right now, and we're about to go over this log. Okay, this log is up there. Dead standstill. We made it. Not bad. So, we're going full speed now on really rough terrain. It's a bumpy yard here. It's not flat by any means. And we're hitting about 9.5 miles per hour. When you're on pavement, it does 10 miles per hour, 10.5 miles per hour max. You can see the shocks are doing a great job. Let's see if I can get in there. Oh yeah. So I'm going to hit this uh, incline here and I'm going to throw on the screen a different perspective too so you can really see how steep it is. But this incline here, even with Barely any torque or momentum, I went right up it. I even purposely slowed down before going up the ramp just to give it that ultimate stress test, and it handled it. I'm gonna do that one more time. And I just wanna show you from a different perspective here, the incline, it's about four feet, four and a half feet. Now I'm going half speed, and it just climbed up it, no problem. So, just to show you the terrain here, this is all rough, rough grass. This is not well maintained. This is, this is rough. So let's go ahead and hit some more rough terrain. Hopefully there's no gators out today. Out in the pond. All right, we're gonna go over some rough terrain in the back here. Hopefully my camera doesn't overheat because it does happen in sunny South Florida when we're recording at 60 frames per second in high definition. So all this is rough terrain that's been mulched with the skid steer. There's tree stumps everywhere. Look at these piles of stuff coming up in front of me. I'm just gonna go right over them. No problem. No problem. This thing is awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to retrofit a little ball hitch on the back and start towing my little fishing cart trailer. I have a little tiny trailer as well that is like a proper trailer with a ramp. I'm gonna try and get it retrofitted and upload a video. But I think for this uh, that purpose here of demonstrating how it works off-road, I think we pretty much nailed it. I'm gonna go over some rough pilings here of wood, see what happens. 
<laughs> no problem. Let's All right, so let's show you one more time with the suspension up close what it's like to go over this big old pile of firewood here that we've been collecting. And just no problem. Handling like a champ. There's pretty much nothing that this can't handle at this point, I'm pretty convinced. We've got sand over here. It's going through it. Big old sand pits here. It's not burning out or anything. Not getting stuck. It's amazing. Pretty awesome stuff here. Wonder if I can make it through here. This looks really squirrely. <laughs> and I just made it through that gap. Pretty awesome. All right, so I'm gonna take you through one more time this little obstacle course. Go over this dip to the left here, which is pretty incredible. Wow. All right. Super impressed. So we have some uh, footage that we've been putting along on the screen from different perspectives. Up ahead here we have some uh, areas where a lot of traffic goes through when it rains. It gets flooded out, so there's some heavy duty dips here. I'm just going to take you through this real quick. Pretty impressive. Going backwards, single handed. And we're going to go over it one more time as we enter into the main part of the fence here. Pretty impressive. I'm going to take you on one more little path here where we have some cobblestones. But in our other videos, we've taken it on gravel roads, dirt roads. It handles pretty much anything. This is loose cobblestone right here. No problem. So once again, folks, this is the Baja Wrangler 2. Technically, it's the Wrangler 2, which is part of the Baja series by Pride Mobility. This is the highly recommended, best heavy duty off-road mobility scooter of 2022. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all of our other videos. We have videos that show you how to unbox it, assemble it, incline test, torture test videos. We do aerial photography with drones. We show you how to clean it, how to take it apart, change the batteries, everything. That's gonna conclude the video. Again, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says Free Catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic, we love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.